So you know how it is. Uh, I've had this charger now for several years, at least uh, three or four, I think, and uh, it's worked perfectly well. It's never really been much out of uh, out of the house. And somebody said, "Oh, can I borrow that? I really need to do something." Uh, so you lend it to somebody, and uh, the next thing you know is you get a call to say it doesn't work anymore. It's blown up. So that's the story with this guy. It was um, being used to charge a lead acid battery, three and a half amps I believe, and the guy said it started tripping the mains out and then it just stopped working completely. Uh, if we plug it in to the mains, we get nothing at all. So the other thing I wanted to check was if we power it via uh, the external 12 volt supply we can see that the the unit uh, unit works so it's uh, it's worth looking into so we'll get this guy stripped apart and uh, see what we can find so inside the, the unit you may be slightly surprised to see that uh, all it is is uh, what appears to be like a standard uh, laptop style power supply and, and the board itself. So to easier to look inside this guy, I'm going to desolder it from the board. So when opening the uh, laptop style um, power supply inside, uh, we find uh, an all too familiar picture <laughs> of blown, blown circuit boards and, and components. Uh, now, I think uh, we can safely say that that is beyond economic repair. Uh, just for those who are curious, uh, getting these laptop style power supplies apart um, requires a combination of cunning and extreme violence. Uh, my own preferred method is to put the whole thing into a vice and, and squeeze it in the, in the middle to do the vice up until you hear it crack and as you can see the uh, the, the, the gunk that was holding it together has uh, has parted company there. So that is uh, not going to work again. Fortunately, being the consummate pack rat that I am, uh, looking through my box of parts, I have come across this Toshiba uh, laptop power supply. This is uh, probably an antique as well. Uh, I'm not sure if we can see uh, if you focus. Yeah, so this is 15 volts at 5 amps. So uh, that, that should be a goer and I think there's just enough room in the in the box to be able to fold the cable around at the end. Uh, so we'll get that installed and uh, see how that works. So now I've connected up the, uh, the new power supply but uh, just one other thing. Um, when I took it apart, I noticed that these transistors or FETs uh, on the on the base there, which are, are supposed to be cooling, uh, the uh, the thermal paste is completely dried out. And uh, how can we say it was economically applied? That's probably the best phrase. So I'm just going to clean that off and make sure I reapply um, the paste before screwing this back together. So now back together the uh, acid test. You can see the uh, replacement power supply in there. Uh, wasn't exactly the same size, so it's uh, stuck down with some double sided tape and uh, the ubiquitous uh, hot melt glue. And there we are, back in business. I hope you found that useful. That's uh, just a demonstration of the uh, fact that uh, you don't have to throw things away and uh, when you do uh, take things apart sometimes the fix is perhaps easier than you thought.